Welcome and happy holidays. This is our December 2012 practice video and this one is titled Bow Hold Work for Travelers. These are things you can do while traveling without your violin. You will see me do some with my bow so you can start to conceptualize how these are going to tie into your progress and your development, but you can easily use a pencil or a pen or a marker. You get the drift. So number one, with your best bow hold, and this is imperative that you put all the fundaments in of a soft and round pinky, soft and round thumb, alignment between the thumb and the middle fingers, roundness, spaces. If these aren't here, stop everything and do 100 of bow holds. Now, first thing is we want to work on some flexibility in the rest. So number one, holding rest. Going up, down, up, down. This is wonderful for book two and above players who are working to cross strings with their wrist. Number two, we want to start to make a circular shape. So we will take and go up to the side, down, back around. Up to the side, down, back around. And then you can smooth that out to make a circle. Now the next thing I can't do with the bow, so I will go and grab the marker or whatever you write in utensil of your choice. And you want to take that now, take off that lid and get a piece of paper out. And again, with a stable wrist here, write the alphabet on a piece of paper or in the air if you're at an airport and just don't have that as a way again to get some flexibility. So those three, first three exercises are very tied in with starting to get more advanced flexibility. Next, let's go into some fine motor skills, just wiring the circuitry between the mind and the fingers. We love our bunny flips, don't we? And these should be old friends for you by now. Now, if you don't know how to do these yet, stop right there. The most advanced version, and I have to admit I'm still working on it, is where we do one in that side, the other in the other side, and flip them. I will buy you chocolate if you can show this to me at your lesson. A third variation within here is where we take one finger, you can do this two-handed or one, and just isolate one finger. This is really wonderful to keep your fingers flexible and fluid so when you come back to your violin they've had some really nice exposure. So you see how I'm just going down finger by finger, we're going to third finger, third finger, and then some pinky and pinky. The last thing I wanted to share with you are the spider crawls. Now, you can have a lot of fun of these, but at your level, if you're doing this, if you're book two and up, you want to take these very seriously to make sure you have a thumb position and a round pinky. We should be able to flip the pinky out, just kind of go like that, right? It should be very fluid and soft. And you can just walk slowly up and down your pen, pencil, or marker. What a wonderful thing to do in the back seat or on an airplane or a train or a boat or a helicopter or a hot air balloon, however you like to travel. And again, really make sure you're disciplined with your technique in this. I don't want any of you going to do these with a straight thumb. It just is not going to serve you when you come back. Have a happy holiday and we'll see you soon.